Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good during this COVID-19. Well, I remember two days back I had asked you all a question. Uh, what is holding us back? The option given to you was fear, self-doubt and both. Most of them had given a very common answer, both. A few years back, this was my answer too. Let me share you an incident wherein I overcame my fear and self-doubt. As you all know, I opened up my institute in the year 2015. It was quite an informal way. In 2016, I got my institute registered as per the government law and wherein I did my marketing and in 2017 I planned to expand my business so I was more engaged with meeting people to do my marketing stuff so I thought I need to buy a vehicle because I finding it very difficult to commute to different locations as I was using my uh, the public transport buses, auto, sometimes Ola, Uber. At the same time, it was costing me too much and time consuming. So based on this, I, I booked a vehicle on 3rd of May 2017. That's Activa 4G. And 9th May, I got a call from the showroom saying that your vehicle is ready, madam. Please have it picked up. Uh, I never thought I'll be getting a vehicle so soon. I thought it might take 10 days or 20 days. It was just about a week's time I got my vehicle. I was very scared. My heart was beating so fast. I said, okay, no problem, sir. I'll just pick it up today evening. Then again, I had a call on 11th May. Ma'am, it's almost we called you twice. We didn't come and pick the vehicle. Uh, can you please pick the vehicle today? So I told him. Right now I'm in station. Tomorrow morning I'll be arriving in Bangalore. I'll have the vehicle picked up. But I was very much in Bangalore. You know why the reason was? I didn't know how to ride a vehicle. That was my main problem. But I booked somehow I need a vehicle. Well, the next on 12th morning, after finishing my classes, I took my student to come along with me to pick the vehicle. So he asked me why I'm you don't to ride, why do you want to, why should I come? I told him, no, it's okay. Uh, there's, you know, that spot, it has lots of traffic. I'm, un I'm uncomfortable to ride there. Please help me out we have to get the vehicle home. So I and my student went together. He asked me to start the vehicle as being a first day. I started, but the vehicle moved the other way. But luckily, those boys helped me out to uh, stop the vehicle. Somehow I reached home along with my student and my mom as usual, it was on 12th of May, a Friday. She did the, the prayer for the vehicle and I very safely, I dumped in the garage. Uh, after getting vehicle, I got a fear like how I'm going to do this so heavy. It's active of force, it's too heavy, How I can't even push it. How I'm going to ride this, this was my thought. And after Pooja, my mom asked, why don't you go for a ride? I said, no, I have my class. Evening, she asked me, I said, no, I have another class. And night or 9.30, she said, I know, better go today. Uh, it's being a good day. Just give, make a round and come back. Like I said, yeah, I'll do it. But my cousin's daughter was at home. She said, uh, I will help you. Come, let's go. We'll go out and do it. I, at night, 11 o'clock, I went to a place where it was quite empty. And um, it was totally silent. I was doing practicing. Then I told my cousin very honestly, please help me. I don't know to start or do anything. Can you please help me how to ride this vehicle? She said, oh my God, and why did you buy such a, big, such a heavy vehicle? I told her that no problem. I know I can ride it, but I don't know how to do it. Then that night, up and down, I was just, just, just going left, right. I don't know to take any turns. No turn, no right turn, no left turn. If she says me to take a turn, I have to off my vehicle and take a turn. This is how I was doing it. But it was almost for 45 minutes doing the same. And she said, 
it's a time to take a right turn so i told him you better get down i'll do my best i took a right turn but i raised a gate is it one of the lawyers house at night midnight to o'clock the gate opened i my vehicle got in to the gate and came back it was so i bounced back i fell down my vehicle fell on the rock and it, it fell upon me i was very badly injured i was not caring about myself i was just looking out my activa house it poor one it was very badly injured and that name plate activa had come out but still i didn't remember i just left the vehicle another 15 minutes i was driving i learned somehow i just came home and i was very badly injured 3 days i was uh, in injured internally i was sick then my question arised oh my god the self doubt will i be able to ride this vehicle because my even my cousin left and i was all alone How, what am i going to do with it trust me every day early morning 4 to 5 is my training i take google help i learned everything how do i work do myself driving 4 to 5 the vehicle is when I mean, the road is so empty because 5 o'clock my bus starts so i just do it i do every day for two weeks i was doing this i hadn't cross for a month uh, more than uh, half a kilometer from my place i was in an hour my area then after a month i was supposed to meet somebody and he told me that i know you need to come here so that um we can discuss about this about the business i said okay fine but i was very happy just it's just a half a kilometer but later he said no i'm not here you need to come there another place but that was the biggest tough task for me because i need to cross a flyover flyover is a one which is very very risky for me i am okay when i climb but i am very scared when it goes down i feel like i'm going to fall down i i feel that i should leave the handle but he kept on guiding me come on you can do it you can i told no i'm scared yes he said just be on the left he guided me and i went on like this i crossed the same day two fly over and he was watching me what i was doing and later when i reached his place i asked where the, where are you by the way he said now take left turn i'm over there and he also told me that you are not stopping your vehicle with the support of your leg take a left turn and as usual i off the vehicle like a cycle as you ride this vehicle take a turn and then stop and late i just met him had a business discussion and he said okay now you can go back home as it's almost night 7 o'clock i said i can't drive in the evening i'm so scared i can't drive i have come away from 15 km from my place he said you can do it better go i drove my vehicle in dark like in i get to my left such a slow so slow so slow hardly not to crossing 30 and this is how i learned my way i had in this process like during a vehicle first he motivated me to cross the two flyovers i came over it then i was taking u turn i had a fall every fall i learned something new i found out the reason why i fell down i had three falls in riding my activa very well today today yes of course i go in 80s and in the 90s the road is empty because my my batch uh, on weekends started 6:30 in other location so i need to go at least around 7 kilometers from my place i drive full speed 80 something 90s i can balance the speed now the fear yes the three falls what i had i didn't stop there i i just learned why i fell down what was the reason i learned it and i never committed the same mistake and that fear has gone away from me i just threw it out the fear and i tried doing my things in the proper channel i channeled my way self doubt the doubt what i had okay the doubt was because i didn't know i was lacking in confidence i wasn't confident the reason is i didn't have that skill i learned that skill i prepared it i practiced it and now i have a confidence the fear and the self doubt is already gone so there's something common in all of us there's something like we say i have fear about what do you have fear self doubt yes self doubt in to some extent it's good but not in all the ways it will stop your success so when you say fear 
work only fear i asked question people said both okay fine i agree when you say fear what is that fear what is that doubt if you know your purpose you will know how to solve it fear is really good when you say i have fear it's really really good the reason is you'll be more alert and you will have the solutions to solve the problem when you have a self doubt why the self doubt is something but you feel that you are incapable of doing things learn the skill what are you in there's nothing that which we cannot learn unlearn certain things and learn some new things that is what i go with it when you say you know i have fear 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 what am i going to do the fear you are going to be in the place where you are if you don't come over it work on your fear check out is this real fear people have fear yes when i bought my vehicle they said when you don't know to ride a vehicle why do you buy such a big vehicle activa 4g you should have bought a you should have bought a scooty that was not my choice i said no people laughed at me because i couldn't pull the vehicle out from my garage i couldn't do it i couldn't put a foot stand yes they laughed at me but i didn't bother who is that someone people always think no someone will laugh at someone will think about what will they think they what will they think who will think all are busy in their own ways everyone is busy in some way and it's only we who think someone will think something bad about us who is that if you are honest enough if you think you are right in what you are doing if you are clear in your thoughts right i don't think you need to bother for someone that someone is no one it is you stop thinking about someone is bothering you there's no one as such it is only you think about someone 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 there's no one in this world who thinks about someone because each one have their own problems and they are busy in their own ways so i would love to say that fear and self doubt just come out of it if you want to be success just face it yes risk your life there is some in life we need to take risk if you don't do if you don't take risk right you risk nothing do nothing have nothing and become nothing sometimes we need to take risk in life to be success thank you